last episode we were walking in Lima Historic Center. Where were we? Oh yeah, churches. This is San Pedro Church. This is one of the main churches. But this one is from the Jesuit congregation. Uh, well, it's closed now, so we unfortunately can't go in. And it seems like there is going to be a wedding because there is too many people dressed up around here. <laughs> And this is the Palace of Torre Tagle. This house is from the colonial times. And look at those wooden balconies. Nowadays is the uh, Exterior Relations Ministry. There are some other colonial houses, for example, Lviv or the Gojinetche house, all of them in the same street as Torre Tagli. We are in Uncayali Street. And this is the Banco de Crédito del Perú, one of the biggest banks in Peru. And right in front, we have the uh, Museum, the Museum of the Banco Central de Reserva, the central bank from it's a state bank. Lima Center used to be the financial area of the city in the beginning and the midst of the 20th century. So it's not surprised that the stock exchange building and some of the most important banks of the city are here. Nowadays the Visa Bank is a good place for coffee and also there are some shops and you can sit here and rest for a while in your walking tour. And here the streets have this uh, particular name alternative names but these are the old names of the city of these streets and you can find here the explanation so maybe you can take a look at these signs when you walk here you can find interesting facts on it this is one of the other important churches in Lima this is the San Agustin church and you can see this beautiful, exquisite facade. And one curious thing is that this should be the tower. It has no towers. Well, it turns out that the earthquake came first and they didn't finish the church. This is how it stayed till these days. So we're gonna have a quick look at Paseo de los Ceros Navales with the Justice Palace. Here we find the Sheraton Hotel, which used to be actually a jail and the uh, civic center. That's now it's a mall. So this boulevard is the Riemann House. This used to be the building of an insurance company. Looks like we're gonna be in a video clip. On one side of this place, there's the Museum of Italian Art to give the Italians for our the anniversary of independence. We will cross the street to the Art Museum of Lima that is called now the Mali. It was built in the early 20th century and it was designed and brought from the Eiffel workshops in France. 
it, were, it came here by ship and it was ensembled here in Lima. It's made out of a, a structure of iron and everything else is just covered with brick and um, plaster. This is the part of the exposition. It was made for the exhibition in, the, in Lima in the early 20s. You can also find the Teatro de la Cabana and the Open Theatre. In this park we can also find a gift from the Chinese because of the 100th anniversary of the independence of Peru and it's the fountain that is behind me. Yeah, it's called the Chinese fountain However, it doesn't have much of Chinese in it. It's more like Italian style, but it's from the China. And to finish this day in Lima Center, the best thing is to end it up here at Parque de las Aguas, the water bath. Parque de la Reserva was found in 1929 and it was closed for many years until 2000, 2000 something and then they built 13 fountains that we are going to see today and it has the record Guinness of the biggest fountain park in the world and we are going to check out each of them A rainbow is water and light and here we have Water and light. Some of the elements of the original park are still here. For example, this statue of Fermin Tanks. Look at this fountain. Where we can take a shot from the inside.
walking tour in Lima. I hope you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week where we will go on a boat in a trip on the main port of the country. So see you next week. Bye.